Good morning, everybody. This is everybody's favorite Phil. No, not Philly D. Okay, maybe I have to change that. Not so favorite Phil. Because Philly D would probably be the favorite one. I don't blame him either. He's... He's pretty cool. Anyway, all that aside. So, today has started off kind of interesting. Really kind of interesting. Um, because, once again, we have more people trying to advocate violence, declarations of war, this sorts of bullshit. First, we had it from, you know, the, what was it, Clorox on them that we're talking about, uh, declaring war, and then we had Janus with his stupid declaration of war, and he was coming for everybody and all that stupid shit. And, of course, we have always had Richard Stiles. Yeah, Richie, I know you watch this stuff. God, you are a piece of work, man. But no. What I'm gonna actually, because today I'm gonna call out these bullies of hers because I'm getting tired of it. This plausible deniability of Joy Sparkle's bullshit, otherwise known as Katie Marie Smith, who is a cry bully that attracts cry bullies and uh, prefers people around her to be these same types of cry bullies. And if they demonstrate that they have any kind of morals, they're basically out for the most part. Or if she feels that she can use it to serve her purpose, she'll keep them around, and then she'll eventually kick them out. You know, but only after she's baited them a bit, right? Hey, your words, chicky, not mine. Anyway, so, after trying to talk some sense on the Kekistani warrior, I have something pop up. And, uh, I'm gonna get in the context of this in just a bit. Here we go. So I'm going to move this up here a little bit so you can see it. Because I'm getting really tired of these stupid bullies. Um, a friend of mine who had to, deal, has to, had to deal with this shit has had to call the police again. Because of somebody sending, you know, threats to reveal, person, to reveal all her information and to start shit and so on. And to harass her on, her, on her, a couple of her different pages and stuff. And no sooner do we get that done... Uh, did we get that taken care of? And the police called for that, which is the second time the police have been called now over shit involving a fan of Joy Sparkle's BS. Oh yeah, but she doesn't support this stuff. It just always keeps happening around her, and it always winds up linked to people that are close to her, hanging out in her chats and chumming it up with her. This jerk-off jerk being one. Oh, okay, I pulled up the... Wait, why is it pulling up that? Hold on. Really? Yes, I had LolCal pulled up for a moment. They probably don't want any excess attention, though, so... Sorry, guys. It had the initial, the other tweet here. Um, and what we're about to see here in a moment, this is something that was posted earlier by dear old Kekistani Warrior. And it says, and I quote, Dude, I have Joshi's info if you want to pay him a visit. And he is talking to Richard Stiles. Bet Joy Sparkle's BS would ha like to have him shut up for good. And look! What do you notice? What do you what do you, what do you notice right here? Right here. Look who's included in there so she can see it. <laughs> oh, and there's a heart. There's a heart. They're sitting there liking up this post. They don't support this shit, but here you have it right here. Hey dude, I have this info if you want to pay him a visit. I bet Joy would like to have him shut up for good. Uh, at one point, Styles actually revealed to somebody that he was uh, in Tennessee. And yes, I know all about that dude. But don't worry, I'm not crazy like you are. So, uh, this is just one more example of the shit that her fans continually put people through. This is why our community gets the rap that it does. Because this is the shit they pull. And what was this over? People telling you what you don't want to hear, so now you want to have him shut up for good, as you call it? I'm sorry, but that is a threat. That is a threat against someone's person. It is uncalled for. 
there is no excuse for it whatsoever. And I, and the fact of the matter is, when I had the conversation that I did with him, including Joshy, I said, hey, everybody, let's walk away. We, we, we all took the better option, okay? We all were the better person in that. You know, there were apologies said back and forth. You know, we everybody walked away. The worst that we did was make you question yourself. And this is the reaction right here. Right here. This is the reaction. This is why we say you can't talk sense into a joy fan or a joy tart because this is what winds up happening. They smile to your face and the moment your back is turned, hey, I have his info if you want to pay him a visit. I'm sure they would like him shut up for good. But let's talk about Styles, because I've had to deal with Styles now for what, a couple of months, and other people have had to deal with this Joker, this clown as well. And enough is enough. Um, because what is he pissed off about? We have this. And I want you to keep this in mind, because I'm going to zoom in on something here real quick. Because this is a man that was telling one of his one of her fans, he was telling Celeste who knows, that he doesn't have time to run around and mess with them. He was trying to act like he's the bigger man and such, that he doesn't go harassing people and uh, all this other stuff. Uh, except he's actually coming to my channel under one of his alts. And I'm going to show you that here in a moment so you can understand just how insane the Flat Earther Richard Stiles really is. Um... Keep in mind, nobody provoked him to come and be an ass. He did it himself. And he's been trying to provoke other people to do this shit for a while now. Okay. And this is the person that Joy's supposedly taking advice from? This guy? Richard Stiles? Really? This guy right here. Um, hold on. So the first thing I'm going to point out to you, though, is this little clip right here. And I'm going to try and zoom in on it here if it will let me. So we have this little thumbnail here. Now what I'm going to point out to you next, I'm going to go ahead and go over here. So, of course, there's Richard Stiles again, and he started out with I'm going to clip this up here a little bit so you can actually see. Who come here and see this hateful shit, you know what to do. They keep doing it until it becomes detrimental. Now, his version of hateful shit, this was posted on the video that I said the lies that people may tell. In other words, me clearing my name from her starting bullshit against me. So me clearing my name in this screwball's opinion is considered hateful shit. Which just tells you what kind of a little shit this guy is. He's actually a little bitch. But we're going to get into that. So, again, you can see... Where I was actually talking to this guy. Oh, and here's another example. If you've known her for ten years, you must either be a stalker or maybe the douchebag that used to beat her. This is the stuff that comes out of his mouth. And again, this is another person that Joy is closely associated with. And after a while, when you notice people like Russians, Kitten Janae, that Denise chick, a few other people that get involved in all of this stuff, they do the same stuff. They talk exactly like this douchebag does. But tell me, guys, why are you getting the responses that you're getting? Why don't people like you? Why do they say you're a cult? Because of this shit right here. But then we have this. And this was posted shortly afterwards because he wasn't content just to come on as one person. Now he's going to try and, and uh, post as another person. So we have this, and now we're going to go over here, and what do we notice? Oh, look, there it is. This is on the same day. So this person that just doesn't bother with someone decided to bother with someone enough to actually come on on two different accounts. Actually, he's admitted on his own channel that he's got at least a third and a fourth. 
So he doesn't take the time to go messing with people. He just walks away, except he has three or four alternate accounts that he goes to harass people routinely with. There's white knighting, and then there's, you're the creeper you claim everybody else is. And, of course, they do the usual important relevant stuff. Um, oh, here's where we get into the, everybody's favorite thing with him. Dark Souls. And you can see my responses here. I do it to defend the light. This this bitch really is delusional. He he thinks that Katie is the light. Your people are psycho, Katie, and so are you. This is reasons that nobody should ever support Joy. Do not Patreon her. Do not support her. Do not enable this bullshit. Because by enabling her, these lunatics are what you're really enabling. And they're enabling... You're enabling them to go and pick on and harass them because the only thing she's going to do is say, Oh, there's nothing I can do. You see what I'm doing right now. I see something, I call it out, whether it's on Twitter, whether it's on you know, YouTube, whether it's anywhere. I see it, I pull it up, I throw it right up there, and I say, Look, this is garbage. This needs to stop. How hard was that, Katie? I'm a no-talent hack, and I can pull that off. You're telling me you can't? No, you can. You just don't want to. All you care about is collecting the money and you don't give a damn what happens to the people in or out of your community as much as you get it. And you people in her community, stop supporting her. This is what you're really supporting. This is what you're enabling. You are empowering a community of toxic people. You are empowering a community of bullies that are attracted to her because it gives them an excuse to be a jerk to somebody else. These people are mentally unhinged. Stop empowering them. You aren't defending joy. You're a freaking psycho. So, moving along. So then we get into this thing here. And you can read it for yourself. So... Yeah, again, like I said, you can see my... Oh, I'll even actually... See, you can, you can see my response. I'm not going to even bother to hide it. In fact, the response is still up there on the video, The Lies That People May Tell. So, you know, you can check that one out, too, if, you're, if you feel so inclined. But, throwing the delusion word is an act of desperation. So, telling someone they're delusional is apparently an act of desperation. Great. Are we noticing a trend here with Joy's more devoted followers and their inability to take any personal responsibility whatsoever. It's very telling that we have multiple head cases showing up time and time again, harassing people, being jerks to people. And they're all in her chat. They're congregating, they're chumming it up, you can pull up any stream and you can see them. I've seen Kitten Janae in there, I've seen Denise, I've seen the Russians may have done it. That's just a few of them. But I can just, oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. And these are the same people that were harassing people across two platforms. But she doesn't support bullying, and yet there she is. Of course, as long as she gets the money, what does she care, right? Again, guys, when you Patreon her, this is what you are supporting. This is what you are, you are basically giving your monetary endorsement and saying that this behavior is okay. As long as you continue to throw money at her, this will continue. I want you to know that this lunatic is what you are supporting, since he's apparently the one giving her advice. He's the one putting up her streams, all buddy-buddy with her. This stuff has to stop, people. We're better than this. Hell, all of us that were involved in that chat went a better direction. And, that, you, and you saw the response. This was the response. This is why we have a problem with you folks. You have problems. You are a cult. This is what the people that are paying all those hundreds of dollars to Joy are really supporting.
But this is the real important thing to notice. This is Joy is meant to fight you, Dark Souls. It will make her stronger, but I have her back. I'll fight her when she can't. I know if she converted to a dark religion or atheism, you Dark Souls would leave her alone because then her life would be turned light would be turned off and her light is all that really bothers you. Am I the only one that reads that and sees like the really creepy obsessed stalker types? Like the really creepy ones? Like you expect to see him with a shrine to joy somewhere with some candles lit around it? This guy has problems. A lot of problems. And again, I try to point it out to them. I want you to realize why people call you a cult and delusional. I try to point it out to these guys, I do. They're, they're more damaged to our cause than anything any of us could say. But again, this is him. Let's see. And I find it here funny here that this guy is trying to say, you know, this. It's your turn to be a hero. Public service message from the retaliators. Without going into this video because too much... Basically, what he does is cry, cry, cry. He basically becomes the very definition of cry bully. And why? For what purpose? What was the big thing that got him so pissed off? Let me see if I can find it here. Now he tried to put up. He tried to hide behind his kid as an excuse, which was really weird. Oh, this. Someone reported him for that, which is actually, I will admit, one of the tamer things he's ever said. Because he said a lot worse. A lot worse. I'm surprised that was what got him blocked. Um, honestly, Styles, I'm going to be honest with, completely honest with you here, even though you're not going to believe it because you're a delusional nutcase. Okay? But I want you to actually have a moment of lucid clarity and realize that you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Because I know who reported it, and I know because they actually messaged me. Okay? That's all I'm going to say about it before you go targeting them. Because, oh, they're out to get you. You're as freaking paranoid as she is. Crap, man. So, again, me personally, I'm not going to really bother with you too much. You've already demonstrated that you're a lunatic. But my thing is when people start throwing threats around and when people start liking those posts, and unsurprisingly, these are people connected to Joy, unsurprisingly, she's you know, hashtagged in there, so it's not like she doesn't see it. She does see it because she's responded to the guy's posts. So she does see it. Doesn't have a darn thing to say about it either. It's perfectly okay with her. Again, this is what you support. So, somebody reported him on Twitter, so now he's doing this cry about how the bullies are out to get him. Richie, buddy, pal, brother... I just insulted my own family in that one. Um, you know, oh, let's get back, let's go down here. Sam Green, who I don't even know whether this is one of yours, goes ahead and posts all these... Hiding hide fan f behind fake names and pictures to bully more extreme. These bullies like to gang up and will call for others when confronted alone. You guys have no self-awareness, do you? I mean, really? Have you seen the comments you post on my page? On other people's page? Do you know how many of you have blocked for trying that gang up bullshit? I just don't have time to try and play babysitter to a bunch of grown-up children. Continued reporting is the only way to shut their accounts down. Look, dude, you try and report mass report me, the only thing that's going to happen is I'm going to turn around and report you back. And you're going to get basically called on it for false flagging. Also, incorporating this person in here, she hasn't been involved in this stuff in some time. Okay? Some of these other people don't really post much. And, quite frankly, whenever I'm, especially if you look on my Twitter, I don't go calling for other people. Can you name once that I actually have? Because I can't. I will call people out. I will one-on-one -on -one definitely mano y mano, as most people will be able to tell you. But again, we have a case here of this person trying to single people out. Oh, look! 
two likes. And we know who one of them was, don't we, Richie? Always, always trying to start shit. This is why you guys have problems. This is why people react to you and give you the reaction that you do. But it's always some big mystery. It's not you, it's all them. Are you starting to realize how much you sound like a bunch of grown-up children yet? But you hate so much when I say that I'm tired of trying to play babysitter to the lot of you. Well, I don't care how condescending you think it is. This is the reality. You suck. This is the reality. You're a bunch of cry bullies. This is the reality. If you're supporting Joy Sparkle's BS, this is what you're supporting. Because as long as this keeps going, this is what's going to happen. Whenever she pops up on you now and does the, cr the, the, the crocodile tears, this is what she's trying to get going. And quite frankly, I'm sick of people, you know, getting treated like shit over this because of one person's fragile ego. Oh, excuse me, I guess two people in this case is because... Dude, dude, it's a Twitter post. If you have a problem with it... Hold on, what do we see here? If you feel your account has been locked in error, you can appeal by contacting our support team. Do the same thing! Just click the goddamn blue link and be a fucking adult. I know it's hard for you, Richie, but it's time you manned up and put the big boy pants on. But what triggered him so badly is that someone with apparently two degrees went and schooled him on Flat Earth. Because he had to admit, well actually he could refuse to admit because nothing he ever does is wrong, that he doesn't really know what the hell he's talking about and his arguments are so full of logical fallacies that you could basically write a book on log logical fallacies using his texts, not his texts, his tweets and responses as textbook examples. But let's continue here. So he does this thing. Are you being bullied? Meanwhile, at the same time, he's admitted that he's been both predator and prey. You make it very easy to profile you, Richie. You make it exceptionally easy. So he's been both predator and prey. In other words, he's been a bully himself. Of course, he still is a bully. And like most bullies, when they get called on their shit, they start wah, 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 wah. Joy did it, Alex did it, Janice has done it horribly and failed because he was crying about somebody doing the same shit to him. Dude, we can still see your tweets. <laughs> I don't follow you and I can still see your tweets. Get over yourself. So, then he posts this to justify you know, stuff like involving a relative of his. You know what's sick? When somebody hides behind their relative to excuse their own actions. That's fucked up, dude. It's hard not to, ha to have any less respect from someone that just, that just you can't really respect in particular. And I'm going to try and move past here because he, he, he throws this up here a lot. And again, this is emotional manipulation. You put a member of your family in there and you talk about this stuff where it has no real context. If anything, it's a worst it's a horrible case of projection. Because you are the bully, Richard. You are the abuser. And now you're sitting there, oh I'm such a good you know, I'm just doing this, I'm defending that. No, you're making excuses, you're making justifications. Much like another Richie that we saw recently with the Jacqueline Glenn stuff, trying to make justifications, justifications for his poor choices. Likewise, you're trying to hide behind this as a justification for why you do the screwed up shit you do. It's emotional manipulation. And you are a sick bastard. Leave your, da leave your family members out of this. Don't be hide behind them. Because if you legitimately gave a shit about them, you would not use them in this way. And yes, if I sound ticked off, I am really ticked off and disgusted that she would stoop to that low. I have tore, I have tore people a new one for remotely trying that shit. But here you are putting it on full display. Oh, I'm really the good guy. No, you're an ass. More things about bullying. You would know.
And again, he puts up all of her streams and stuff. I mean, and he says he admits that he white knights for her. White knighting has a different definition than what you're throwing up, by the way. No matter how much you try and justify or hide behind it, the simple, the simple truth of the matter is you can't. Nothing justifies your actions, Richard. You're an abusive personality. You're a bully. And by this video, we know you to be a cry bully. Okay? And I don't care if you're in the same state as me as not. I am not remotely threatened by you. You're an insecure little shit. And you're a whiny little bitch. So, no, I am not threatened to you. I've survived any number of stuff in my entire life. You can't really top that. Doesn't really phase me, dude. And your little thing of the retaliators? Come on. It's not the defenders. It's the retaliators. You're just looking for any outlet to lash out. You just kind of migrated from the point where you outright bully to you hide behind a cause so you can use that to defend your bullying. Oh, my bullying is okay because it's because of this. It's still bullying, dude. I don't care how many layers you pile on top of it. I don't care how many causes you hide behind. You're still a bully. You're still a hateful prick. You still use multiple accounts to harass people across at least two platforms. And you are a lunatic. I've pulled up your freaking tweets. You call it the truth. You can't see the truth about yourself right in front of your face, even as you're displaying to the rest of the sane world how much of a screw-up you are. And then, because you're so goddamn insecure, you start talking about this guy, calling him a virgin and all this other stuff, and then you start posting your own pics. So he's posting pics about himself to tell the world about how great young man and all this other stuff he was. Dude, you couldn't pleasure a termite. Let's get real. See, this stuff right here. Because that's not petty. Oh wait, yes it is. Bullying Janice. Yeah, because people are really bullying Janice. Oh wait, no. I have an entire video that I did after his declaration of war. He goes and he acts like a little shit to other people. He's not being bullied. You start shit, it comes back to you. He's not being bullied. Okay? Besides, that comment right that that, that comment right there is lighter than half the shit you and other people have said to me. So if that's bullying, then what the fuck is your excuse? Oh right, it's in defense of joy, so that makes it okay. Again, hiding behind a cause to use it as a justification to bully other people. You don't even care about the cause. Fuck, I don't even think you really care about joy. You just, you see it as an option to promote your really, really terrible book and as an option to get away with being a bully. Now, let's face it. You were a bully. Somebody smacked your hand and said, don't do that. And now you've realized with the way the world works now, hey, if I hide behind a cause, I can bully these people and just say I'm defending somebody. I don't care how many layers you put on pile on top, dude. You're still an asshole and you're still a bully. And you're still a predator. But to demonstrate his further insecurity... Let's hold on here. Oh, there were more pictures. I know there were more pictures, because... Oh, this thing, yeah. Um, which, I want to comment on that real quick. As, as funny as I found that, and I was laughing. Um, if I'm such a hate horrible guy, stop wishing me in the LGBT community. Because if I'm so evil as you claim, haven't they had enough? I'm just saying, just throwing that out there. If I'm as evil as you claim, why would you wish me on them? Sorry, dude, it's not a thing. I'm sure that's wishful thinking on your part. Probably because, well, I don't even want to speculate. 
Who knows? But, uh... Ugh. Cringe. There were a number of pictures... Oh, yeah, he posts a number of pictures of himself to demonstrate his so-called good looks. You know? All this other stuff. Styles, man. You really are a piece of work. And again, the reason that I bring this up... I'm going to start wrapping this up now. But the reason that I'm bringing this up is for this right here. I'm tired of this nonsense. This is the nonsense that her community keeps pulling up. And I want to make it very clear that if you support Joy Sparkle's BS, if you support Katie Marie Smith, this is ultimately what you're supporting. I'm sure there are good people in her community, but they are the minority. Because this is the shit that I keep seeing over and over and over again. This has been going on for almost a year now. I am getting tired of this shit. I am getting tired of seeing this shit. And I have said, don't let me catch anybody doing this shit from either side. Because if I see it, I will call it out. But this shit right here where people are trying to make threats, this is for the birds. Again, another reason why you should never support Joy. Take that Patreon money and get the hell out of Dodge. Do not support her. Do not fund her. Do not support this. Because as long as you can continue to support her, it is telling her that this is okay. Because now, we did, this is just this is right after the stuff with Alex. And she admitted she's known this stuff was going on beforehand. What did she do? She made him a mod. She made him a mod. She knows, she knows these people are problems, she lets them do it, and then she claims plausible deniability after the fact. Oh, I'm, can't, I can't contain everybody. Yes, you can. Not, well, not everybody, but when it's right in front of your face, you can do something about it, and it's clear that you choose not to, unless you think you can get something out of it. So again, in fi to, to, to wrap this up, because it's already just barely pushing 30, um, if you are supporting... Joy Sparkle's BS. I want you to understand that this is the community you are supporting. And I want you to understand that aside from the lip service she gives you and calling me a snake and a liar and some evil person out to get her, this is what you are really supporting, and she will not do anything about it. She will never do anything about it. It will eventually wind up escalating until someone really does get hurt. And then what? She's going to make excuses and fake tears over the internet and play it up to make herself seem like she's a victim that didn't know anything. While she slips up and admits that she did know it a couple of times. Because, of course, it's joy. This happens all the bloody time. Just watch the damn streams. Watch the Alex stream. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's time to stop supporting the bullies. It's time to stop supporting the cry bullies. It's time to stop supporting these people that hide behind causes and illnesses as a means to deflect criticism so they feel they can do whatever they want. It's time to help un them understand that they are accountable. You vote with your views. You vote with your wallet. It is time for them to be kicked out of office. I've said my piece. Thank you all and have a nice day. And for any of you other... Joytards that want to pull this shit, don't think I won't put you on blast. Go ahead, come my way. I'll screen cap every last one of you, I'll put every last one of you on blast, I will put you on display for the entire world to see, and I will keep rubbing it in her face that the only community she really has is people just like you. A group of really fucked up people. So, in hindsight, TLDR, stop supporting violence, stop supporting crybullies. This shit has to stop. Thanks. Bye.